Hey folks, Phil Beeman here. Talk a little bit today about hot rooms. I uh, just put the first boxes into mine and I just wanted to show you my window and bee escape. Commercial beekeepers are always playing the law of large numbers, no matter how diligent you are. There's always some boxes, bees left in the boxes. And uh, so those, those just came in. Uh, you know, if every box has five bees, two bees, that ends up being a pile of bees. So I have this window here. I'm on my, uh, I'm on my scissor lift in case you think I'm jiggling around too much. And then at the top of the top of the window, I put in this very tall window. The bees like to, to walk up. And at the top, I have a couple bee escape uh, tubes. Just like the ones, the same as the ones I use in the bee escapes in the field. These little, these little things here. You can see, ooh, yeah, it's not clogged up. Okay, you can see right through. And uh, so, uh, middle one's missing at the moment, so I got it taped over. But on the outside, you can see the bees, and I'll flip the camera around. Let's watch how that works. Okay, so you can see bees just walking out that tube. They see that sunlight. And this window faces so it gets morning light. Uh, there's two more gone. I'll put a couple hives up on uh, some high pallets in behind here so that uh, some weak hives can get a bit of a boost by the bees drifting into them. And if I switch them out diligently, that boosts those hives. At the very least, even if I'm not diligent, I can have a few less bees to sweep up in the hot room. So that's my bee escape window. Uh, and also, the, just having the natural light will draw the bees out of the supers in a way that makes it a bit better for my extracting crew. All right, that's it for today. Thanks a lot.